<laughs> that's that's all right. You have every right to be here. When I learned that Officer Estrada had died, I posted this video in her memory. Soon I noticed this comment from her mother. It says, I miss her so much. This beautiful cop was my daughter. She was a wonderful person and sister and loved life and her job more than you know. I truly believe she didn't commit suicide. I am her mother and know her better than anyone. We made plans. We saw her the day she claimed to kill herself. We spoke with her and we saw no red flags at all. What you see is what you get. This was truly Ciara. She was a military brat, a beautiful soul. What her boyfriend said to her and did, I will never know. He was SDPD too. To see more of her, her IG name is Blue Angel 7334. At this point, I was intrigued because I knew she couldn't have killed herself. I only knew her for 10 minutes, four years ago. And I knew when I heard that she committed suicide, it didn't make sense because she was the sweetest, nicest person. <laughs> How? And then I found the GoFundMe. Ciara Ann Estrada, end of watch, 1st of January, 2018. Seeking truth and justice for Ciara, what really happened on New Year's Eve. This GoFundMe account will assist us in finding the truth, filing a wrongful death suit, and holding anyone responsible for taking our Ciara from us on January 1st, 2018. aggressively panhandling, so I don't think I'm breaking any laws. You're not. Hi. Hi. I'll talk to you in a second. One okay. sec. Ciara was our angel here on Earth. She was our whole world. The last time we saw Ciara was on the night of New Year's Eve, 12 31 17, as she got ready to go to a New Year's Eve party at a local hotel with her boyfriend, who was also a sworn police officer for San Diego PD. Ciara was in a serious relationship for over two years that had become volatile sometime between 10 p.m. and 11.30 p.m. A verbal altercation occurred in front of SDPD co-workers who were also attending the New Year's Eve party. This altercation was not de-escalated by these off-duty officers or her boyfriend who likely created the situation and is known to have a short fuse himself. Ciara left the party before midnight and alone in an Uber. All of the details and statements from her boyfriend and of other off-duty SDPD officers have been kept from the family. The exact times and details of the altercation and time of death have created nothing but doubt for the family. SDPD did not disclose all of the investigation material to the family. Ciara was a sworn police officer for SDPD. She dated an SDPD officer. She was seen by other off-duty officers that night. Why was she dead only a couple hours after being photographed alive and happy? On January 1st, 2018, Ciara did not show up for her swing shift at work. We knew something was horribly wrong as Ciara would never miss work without calling. Ciara was found inside of the bathroom in her small apartment with a point blank single gunshot wound between her eyes. Ciara lived alone but her boyfriend had a key to the apartment. Suicide was never proven to the family. No way. Sierra was the happiest we had ever seen her earlier that same afternoon. Our family was not made aware of where the gunshot wound was and we were not allowed to see her at the time. Although it could affect the integrity of the investigation, San Diego PD chose to handle Ciara's death investigation. Instead of calling in another agency or jurisdiction, they disregarded guidelines and ethical standards and created a major conflict of interest by investigating the death of one of their own who had last talked to another SDPD officer who was the source of an altercation less than two hours before her death. They immediately ruled the cause of death as a self-inflicted gunshot, which contradicts pertinent training that all assumed or reported suicides must first be investigated as homicides when officers arrive on the scene. The crime scene was contaminated and jeopardized. Bloody footprints were tracked into the living room and many items that would have contained Ciara's DNA and any possible suspect's DNA was thrown away, including the bathroom rug Ciara died on. 
San Diego PD immediately informed us that they were sorry, quote, she killed herself, end quote, and it was definitely a suicide. No coroner or medical examiner was even on the scene yet. How on earth would or could they determine that so soon? Did San Diego PD want to avoid the negative publicity involving not one, but two of their officers, one of which should have been a suspect? Our daughter had no suicide ideations, was never depressed or on any medications. Sierra loved herself and her family way too much to ever leave this world in this way. What's your name? Seth. Seth? Mm -hmm. So I guess they had some complaints. People I'm pretty out sure you made that. By. Pretty said... sure you made that up. Okay. I've only been here a few minutes, so I, I really doubt people have gone in and complained at this point because virtually nobody has walked by. Okay, you're not like harassing people. Not saying or a word to anybody. Or... Haven't said a word to anybody except thank you to the one lady who gave me ten dollars. Okay, well, you know that's that's all right. You have every right to be here. Ciara served as a police officer for the San Diego Police Department from August 2015 to January 1st, 2018. During her career, she distinguished herself serving her community and fearlessly patrolled the streets in order to keep us safe. She was recognized and received a departmental citation when she saved a young man from suicide. We did not know that Sierra was becoming a YouTube sensation until after her death. Sierra was dispatched to investigate a complaint of an unwanted homeless male. She didn't know she was being videotaped upon arrival, which is all the more impressive because she treated a homeless man with dignity and only later became aware it was uploaded on YouTube, titled as Finally, a nice cop. I mean, just make sure you're not obstructing the sidewalk and, and people, you give people a nice little walkway right here to walk by. Cause, of course. You know, some people are just a little intimidated. Well, of course. That's all. All right. Uh, to each their own. I'm just going to take some of your info down. Sure. Okay? It's not a ticket. No nope, problem. Can you like get my ID out for you? Perfect. Yeah, if you have that. It began getting many views. Sierra was humble and never told us. The same homeless male was saddened when he learned of her death and modified another version of the video to read R.I.P. Officer Estrada. Watching the video today is painful because our hearts ache for our daughter. However, it will forever be an example of how Ciara treated every human being with dignity and compassion, regardless of their social status or lack thereof. So you kind of go all over, yeah? I do what I gotta do. Yeah, he came out quick. Like I said, the security store, they can say whatever they want, really. Yeah. If, you're, if you're on the property in the store, they don't want you there. You come, tell you to leave, you leave. You know, that's all you got to do. Yeah, and I'm not on the property, yeah, like here, I said. you're so. fine. Both videos have been viewed over 8 million times. If you want to get to know our angel, it will be worth the 10 minutes. To know her was to love her. Zero to eight. Where's that? Where are you born? Uh, New Jersey. Jersey, that's yeah. cool. <laughs> Yeah, you don't see many people start with the zeros. No, I don't. Yeah, I just had someone the other day and I meant to ask them <laughs> where the heck they were born. <laughs> but what's weird is that I was born in New York, so I would think I'd have a different one. But my first, my, I forget what it's, it's like, it starts with like a six, but it's the same as everyone else in my family who was born in California. It's weird. I'm not sure but what. I moved pretty recently after I was born, so I don't know if that I, was it, but I always I left, wondered. I left. New Jersey when I was six months old, so I, yeah. I don't know, I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Or I don't know, I don't know what they base it on, but I know it's rare. Yeah. Well, thank you for proving my daughter's point. Is that? Daughter? Yeah, she said that the the female cops are always much nicer, and <laughs> I've, I've been taping asshole cops for the past week, and you're the first person who was nice, and you're also the first female we've dealt with. So thank you. I'm gonna show her this video and tell her she was right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we can't all the same way it's yeah. all discretion it's yeah. all you know i for me talking to people is a big thing mm. and the way you talk to people is a big thing so <laughs> people caught some cops don't realize if you escalate it it escalates and yeah. if you don't it doesn't yeah. i've seen them do it so many times they did it four o'clock this morning when they woke us up yeah for 18 months the estrada family and ciara's close friends remain grieving over her untimely tragic and mysterious death we have spent countless hours trying to sort out what San Diego PD didn't tell us, and we have pieced together other theories and information from her digital devices. 
The details of who she talked with, texted, had physical or emotional contact with remains unanswered and has been kept from our family. We will need subpoenas to obtain all the cell phone records and texts. SDPD did not prove to the family that the bullet trajectory, forensic evidence, and crime scene photos were a result of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Did San Diego PD ever pursue any primary suspect who had motive, access, and means? And if so, why couldn't that investigation material be provided to the family? SDPD failed our daughter in blue before and after her death, and all responsible need to be held to answer. How much did we know about her relationship in the two hours before she died? In addition, Sierra's death was kept secret from the media. San Diego PD urged our family to be quiet and not talk to the media that was present at the crime scene. SDPD gave the impression that this death should somehow be kept private. The death of a young, vibrant police officer like Ciara is tragic and all the details of that night need to be uncovered and pursued wherever it leads. We are still seeking and fighting for answers to Ciara's death. The evidence discovered during Ciara's autopsy would be indicative of a physical struggle with distinct bruises or unusual places on her body. After we met with the medical examiner to discuss the cause of death, she said that she couldn't rule out homicide. After reviewing some of her digital devices and talking to other SDPD officers, we learned how emotionally abusive her relationship had become with her boyfriend in recent months. This GoFundMe account will assist us in filing a wrongful death suit, pay for expert witnesses, evidence discovery, and other various legal fees. It will also pay for any direct or indirect cost related to her death. We thank all who have reached out to love and adore our Ciara. We thank all of you in advance for helping find out what happened to Ciara. If you can donate, we appreciate it with all of our hearts. If you cannot donate, a simple share is beyond helpful. Ciara deserves to be treated with the same dignity and respect she treated others with during her short time on this earth. When Ciara's truth comes out, she can finally rest in peace. God bless you all. You can find a link to her GoFundMe in the details below. Please donate and share to help us figure out what happened to Ciara. Okay, Seth, do you, you think you might, you, if you have any warrants or anything like no. that? No. No? Not America's Most Wanted? I, like I said, they've run me four times in the last 48 hours, but you're welcome to do it again okay. if you'd like. I'm just going to do it real quick sure. just because I got it. I understand. I know. That's the thing, too. Like, PB is usually a good spot because you get the college students. And mm. most of the time, the college students, like, like I was like that, too, when I was in college. Like, giving, just yeah. give stuff out. Yeah. People are like that. Yeah, me too. I Up went here, to... it's, it's the boy. At least it's cooled down a little bit. Yeah. Because it was been nasty the past yeah, couple that was, days. Yeah, that was brutal. And I just can't imagine, you know, standing in the heat that long. Yeah, it was brutal. <laughs> yeah. And what was, what's your name? Your your badge, your name tags covered. Oh, sorry. Sorry. This, these pockets are really small. Officer Estrada, like yeah. Eric Estrada. I get that a lot. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> but actually, a little too much. I actually have an uncle, Eric Estrada. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try to get on each bus, day, so just, you know, it's up to the bus drivers but, um, at this I'll point. I'll let them know that and okay. not to be calling us for, yeah. you know, all the kinds of weird things. Yeah. So, okay. should be okay. All right. Thank you. you I appreciate it. Day, you too. Thank you. I was that homeless guy, and I'm not homeless anymore, but I, I feel I owe it to Ciara to help her family figure out what really happened that day, because there's no way she killed herself. When she wasn't in uniform, she spent most of her time with her beloved dog, Trevor, and visiting a much cherished family. She would take him to dog beaches and parks and give him the best care possible. She was an incredible dog mother and loved him dearly. Again, does that sound like somebody who would just kill herself? 